the big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand. And we are back, and I am overjoyed. <laughs> Definitely the happiest I've ever been doing this ever. podcast. No, in life. Probably. I mean, it was like, hey, Tom, I'm pregnant. Okay. <laughs> and all every other guest we've ever had can go fuck themselves yep. because we finally, the whole purpose of this podcast. Actually, I think we should wrap up the podcast after today. I know. It's this is done. our final episode because there's no point in continuing. <laughs> we have now a legend sitting with us and it's my joy to introduce uh, Big Daddy Kane. Thank you Whoa. very much for coming. My pleasure, man. My We're pleasure. very excited to have you. You know, it's funny. People all the time ask me, like, you know, they'll ask me about jokes and, like, stories. And I realized that, first of all, the whole reason that I even was able to meet you or talk to you, here's, here's how crazy this was. So I tell this story in the special. In my first special, completely normal, I do this joke about yelling Sup Kane to you. And, and I remember when that happened. Yeah. Well, first of all, I never even got to tell you afterwards that, I, that that's actually a true story, that I actually really did do that, that you were getting out of, <laughs> you've been to the comedy store. Uh -huh. I, I saw you getting out of a car and <clears throat> years ago, was years before I did that, and I saw you, I was like, sup, time! Like that, I yelled it. <laughs> I saw you turn around and that was burned into my memory <laughs> as like a story. And I told it, and then the thrill was this. So when that special came out, you know, it like it started to get like a little popular, a little more popular. It wasn't like some huge special, but it, it, it gave me a nice bump. And so one day when the, like a few months after that's been out, I was working the, I can't believe how much I remember this. I was working the Hartford Funny Bone, which is in Manchester, Connecticut, just outside of Hartford. And I tweeted you about it because somebody, people had been tweeting me and you replied the nicest reply. You were like, it's hilarious, like much success, continue. The, and I was like, babe, yeah. I'm gonna print this when I get home Dude, you'd and frame it. Yeah, you had shit coming out of the bottom of your pants. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was <laughs> you couldn't believe how excited was he was. I was so excited. And, um, and I was like, well, that's like, you know, that's, that's a perfect day, yeah. right? I was just like, that's it. Nothing happened. Then, oh my God, I can't believe I actually have it here somewhere, but I'm probably not gonna be able to find it. Then I come home and I'm... I'm just, you know, going through my day. We're, we're, we're renting a guest house and I wake up and it's like, you know, when you have your phone has a voicemail just on it, like you don't, you don't see a missed call, <laughs> just has a new voicemail. It's a new voicemail from you and you're staying with, you're with Russell, uh -huh. uh, Russell Peters, who, right, right. Russell Peters, for people that don't know, Russell Peters knows and loves hip hop so much that he makes me feel like I don't like hip hop. Right. Because like, <laughs> he's such a fan that I was like, I thought I was a fan. But then he'll be like, do you know who played the drums on this? I'm like, no, motherfucker, I don't know who played the drums. <laughs> like he knows. And he knows everything. Everything. Yeah, Russell's a true b-boy. Yeah, I mean, to another level. Yeah. So he, yeah, I guess you had, you know, you saw him and you guys, you mentioned it. He got you to leave me a voicemail. Oh my gosh. Which is incredible. It's in, it's in this computer somewhere. I just don't Yeah, know. no, I, I remember. remember I remember. Yeah. And then I went to his house and I got, and I met you and I was just like a kid, man. I was like a giddy kid. <laughs> Finally, do you get any sup canes when you're out there? Do people yell it to you ever? Oh man, when I'm on Instagram, I was like, because <laughs> when, 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 when was this stand up again? What year was that? So it came out in uh, 2014. 2014. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's 2019. And I can sit there on my Instagram and just <laughs> go through the comments, you know, sexual chocolate. Oh, yeah, Kane fan. You know, Dark Gable, Kane fan. Yo, you still in my top three, Kane fan. Sup, Kane? <laughs> Segura people. <laughs> 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 Sup, Kane? <laughs> yeah. 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 Still out there. I'm happy about that. Man. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. And people don't, uh, uh, we, um, Cause it was a great thrill for me too. Like the, when you responded, when I heard from you, we collaborated on a shirt. People don't know that we like, we collaborated on a shirt. Um, that sold out like immediately. Was yeah. Awesome. yeah. I was, um, I was just having a conversation with someone last week about you about, and that's what I was telling them. I was like, I said, well, listen, um, let me um, put it to you like this. I have my own big daddy Kane t-shirts that I sell on my site. And up until this point, I think I may have sold about um, 
2,500. I was like, yo, me and this dude put out a t-shirt that was <laughs> gone like by the end of the week. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. I was like, so yeah, to answer your question, he's a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit moved, man. 